have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. So I'm here in Bangkok, Thailand. You know, I wouldn't encourage everyone to do what I do. Traveling the world with no money. You know, it's just... It is kind of a hardship, but you know, I'm not... I'm not suffering right now. I got a couple dollars in my bank. Not enough to pull out with an ATM. I've got less than $10 in my pocket. Uh, about 500 baht, they call it here in Bangkok. But, uh, I'm going to start giving some life lessons to my kids and kids around the world, you know, advice as I walk around the cities. I just want you to know, first of all, that I love you very much. I think of you. Just because I'm here doesn't mean I'm not there in my heart and in my mind. But when I'm there, you're always busy, and I know that you need to do the, the kid thing. Look at this bus. Beautiful, big bus. Double story, beautiful uh, fish on the side. So, you know, you're busy with your school. I'm so proud of you. Brendan, you're there. You know, starting a family in Hawaii. Brianna, you're already 18 and you're graduating next week. I'm going to go see you at the graduation. Uh, I'll be there, Lord willing. Everything's planned, tickets bought. So, I love you very much. The main thing is if you find yourself in a spot in the world, anywhere, even in your own country, and you, you just feel like you don't know what to do, God will give you the answer. Just pray and ask God to give it to you in your heart and your mind. It'll come to you. The Bible says, uh, if you seek me with all your heart and all your mind, we found. Search for me with all your heart. So, God bless. Bye-bye. Well, it's in the middle of the night here. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm in Bangkok, in the streets of Bangkok, by myself. It's pitch dark, and it's really, really um, interesting here. Um, there's a guy that just looked at me very strange walking by. Um, do I feel safe? I don't know. I don't know if my friend there, Mike Wilhide, would feel safe, but... I don't even know what these little vehicles are called, these, I forgot the name, but old buses and these weird tricycles, the light just came on above me, but I'm kind of sleeping here, um, right here on a park bench, it's not really a park bench, but, you know, I don't even know where I'm at, I'm kind of lost, but I'm going to walk down this alleyway here and see what's, what's down here. Again, um, this is Bangkok, Thailand. I do not speak even one word, not even thank you. I can't even remember what thank you is. You cannot read any of the signs. I have no money. And I'm walking down the street in Bangkok, and I'm here for eight days to live and try to be productive in some way. You can see right here, look at this. Could you understand that? A lot of arrows and, and weird. But, oh, I can read that sign over there on that truck. It says Ranger Ford. So let's see, we have some people coming up here. Looks like some gangsters. Oh, I'm not sure what, oh, there's people sleeping also over here. People sleeping there too. Very nice place to sleep, I guess. What does that say? Huh. I have no idea what it says. I have no idea where I'm going or where I came from. What I'm doing, except that I can't sleep. It's the middle of the night. What's that talking about? There's a phone number. Well, I'm not sure where to go, but I'm going to keep walking this way and uh, see what's down here. Okay, so I'm in Bangkok, Thailand. It's the middle of the night, 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm walking around um, trying to figure out what to do, where to go. Uh, some of you might think, since I've got about 20 million views, that I just squander that money. But I want to tell you something. I do not smoke. I do not drink. I do not pick up on women. I do not uh, have any drug habits, never have in my entire life. I'm not saying I'm perfect. I'm just saying that where does my money go? 
I don't even like to spend money on a comfortable bed to sleep in. Or I've never eaten any animal products. I just like, hey, there's a market. Wow. It's in the middle of the night and there's a market over here. I'll tell you what my temptation is. Avocados and bananas. Yeah, so anyway, I'm right here. So no, the money goes to helping the poor. I believe in helping the poor, helping people that are less uh, educated or fortunate or whatever, people that are in a difficult situation to help them <coughs> in different ways. Um, the money, I'm able to buy you know, things. Random acts of kindness sometimes cost money. I'm not advertising that I'm giving out money, but it certainly helps in my travels around the world. And wherever I go, I am filling people's lives in their minds. Um, an idea to live with, uh, with peace and uh, make changes in their life that would help them live at peace with their conscience, you know, but their, their quality of life should be maximized. Look at this car. It looks like it's going down the wrong side of the road, but that's how it is here. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Hey, I, I have kind of jet lag. Um, so, yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to Chiang Mai right now or later, but basically I'm, I'm here and I'm available to do health lectures, and I'm very willing and, and able. Been doing that for 20 some years. Musical programs, piano singing, and I'm willing to do that. I just have to wait and see what happens, see if anybody asks me. Well, I guess you could say that I have arrived at the place. This is an incredible market. Things are super clean. And let's just take a look at some of these fruits here. We got rambutan here. Amazing. Lychees, dragon fruit, chico. But look at these mountain apples. They're big. Everything is very, very uh, clean and healthy looking and big. And what is this? I don't know what those are, but they look, they look delicious. The Chico's, a little strange. Uh, a little strange shape on the Chico's. Let's see here. Plums, we have some sort of a plum. Very interesting. Well, I'm going to go down here. Lots the vegetables. Should I go that way or that way? I don't know. So I'm here in Bangkok, Thailand, and it's very, very interesting. Very nice place to, to be cleaner than the Philippines. I uh, can't understand anything, but what kind of fruit is that? I don't know what that, I don't know what that is. Bamboo, hearts. Ooh, look at these durian. This is beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So kind of like uh, baklara in there in Manila, but I'll tell you, the smells are good. There's no bad smells. This is about two o'clock in the morning, and everyone is still here shopping, working. T-shirts, um, but it smells good, and there's such a wide variety of foods every little bit. I see these little stands <coughs> coming up with foods, and it's all delicious foods. And look at these shirts. Wide variety of shirts, really nice shirts. And how much are these? Well, this is a girl's. This is girls, yeah. It's girl shirts. I don't want to buy a girl shirt for me. Maybe for my wife. I can tell you one thing, they're going extremely fast. Extremely fast on these things. Uh, we're flying like 50 miles an hour down the road. And I'm, there's no door. But there's a breeze that's going across the freeway bridge. So it's kind of wild, kind of fast, kind of scary. Crash. Yep. Crash there, they're cleaning it up. 
So I'm here, it's night time. I decided to take one of these vehicles. And it's so nice, look at it, it's night. Well, you can't see, it's dark. But listen to this conversation, I'm trying to tell this guy. So, I want to go, and he doesn't know what I'm saying, nothing. <laughs> You're a good job. Um, he has no idea what I'm saying. I'm trying to tell him to take me back. Take me there. But he doesn't know what I'm saying, so. I don't know where he's taking me now. I don't know how much I'm gonna pay him. So far though, it's not very much money. I'm making a movie. <laughs> I just wanna go back to where I want to go before. Yeah, I have no idea what they're saying. Nothing. This is very, very hard. I want to go back to where I was before. You know the place where I was before? I want to go back there. I want to go back. Where you, to, where you had me before. I want to go back there. But now you ready? You ready? One lady, okay? Your body, eat the beer lady. Uh, no thank you. No thank you. I want to go back. Okay. So this guy is really nice. But he wants to charge me some money. And I'm going to give it to him. But then I'm going to uh, discuss it. So. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. He wants 300, he didn't take me where I wanted to go. He took me and he got me lost, and then he brought me back to where he started. Well, he didn't understand anything I said, and so I didn't lose very much money, just a few dollars, but um, he brought me back to where, where uh, he picked me up. I mean, so at least I'm back here where I know where I'm at and everything's okay, but that was an interesting entry kept taking me to different places thinking that that's what I wanted to go to and it was like a bar or uh, you know weird places I mean not good places I can tell you that a room full of ladies with makeup I mean not like a few but like maybe a hundred something like that I, I just barely glanced in one door and I turned around and ran back out full of uh, like tears of girls so I don't know I'm a foreigner so I guess he's trying to guess what I might want and uh, this is just like McLaren Philippines but this is Bangkok Thailand guys right here See, I almost got hit by a motorcycle right there well, sweetheart, um, when I first got involved in YouTube, it was actually Larry Davies, a friend of mine who uh, had committed to his wife when he was on a trip to Hawaii to go to the Kalapa house that he would post a video blog to his wife each day, and that's what he did. I've asked you to post one video to me, um, and I'm still waiting for that video. So um, this is just a little reminder that uh, maybe that's something you could do to boost my day I would really appreciate that I do a lot of videos for you and uh, I've given you that uh, that iPad and you went to another country and I would uh, really like to see a video of that country you know anything even you saying hi to me something like that but this is my room here in Bangkok I want to show you I have put two hospital beds together and I've got all these outlets and stuff right here and water they bring me fresh water every day. A maid comes and brings me water. Uh, I've got more than I need. Uh, something that doesn't happen in the Philippines. I bought this, but it has cheese in it, so I can't eat it. Uh, they have plates here for me, spoons, refrigerator, a microwave, uh, waste basket. The shower and bathroom is very nice. They have tissue paper, of course and uh, hot water. It's not one of those hot water heaters that's on the wall. It's actually coming right out. You see hot and cold. Nice little sink here and uh, mirror windows and um, let's see big doors, nice handles. There's a place here to sit 
shave or whatever. There's a closet here, even an ironing board and an iron for me to iron my shirts. Do my laundry now. I'm going to go outside of the hospital. Here's a map. But I want you to see, this is how the hospital has been. This is how it's been in this wing of the hospital since I arrived. Every single day, this is a, a regular day. I just want you to see this. It's a regular day. We're going to go out now. Here we go. No people. Absolutely no people. Are there people this way? Let's go to the front desk and see if there's any people that way. <coughs> Let's see here. No people. No people. No people. Delivery unit. Is there any people? No people. Beautiful hospital. Uh, no people. Every single day, no people. So we're going to go downstairs now. You can see right here, it's kind of big. Mission Hospital, you see that? That upstairs. So we're going to go downstairs now. So I'm going downstairs now. Oh, there's a person. One person, and it's a nurse. Look at that. And that means push. You see that word there? That's push. Very interesting. Any people here? No? This says pull. Um, the weather is nice. It's always cold inside the hospital. Three people there. Three more nurses. We got three more nurses. And then right down at these stairs is this beautiful restaurant here. Another person, and it's an American. We've got right here a store. And look at this, all these beautiful foods, organic cranberries, probably goji berries, black seed, organic black quinoa, cashews, peanut butter. And then in here, we got salads. So I'm gonna go inside here. And oh, there's people. And here's our bread. It's just a really nice store with all kinds of foods. And then in here, there's some people finally. A little bit different Philippines has a lot of people. Not a lot of people walking around here. They're all indoors. Looks similar to Filipino food, brown rice. Okay, bye. So, of course, I'm going to choose this food. Healthy. Look, cucumbers. Mm, yummy. Red tomatoes. The tomatoes are sweet, delicious, ripe. Unlike the Philippines, they don't have those here. Very rare. Even have those toasted. Sorry, look at Carrots. The kidney beans in here. Very delicious salad. Yummy. Have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Go on. Okay, stop. So we're here at the uh, Lodi Fairgrounds, and I would just want to say hi to Kathy, my auntie, uh, Kathy Coleman here in Lodi. I just want to say hello, Kathy. I'm here in Lodi. Give me the camera here. I'm going to get a picture of the facility here. Lodi Grape Festival there, wine and pavilion. And uh, we're all camping here. We're having a wonderful health and healing crusade. We're learning some wonderful things. And your house is just over there, and I really want you to be here. And Brianna and I have been messaging you. If you could come here. It's just we're so busy. I just took off my necktie, and now I'm here to go back for the afternoon meetings, put my glasses on, walk through the sun, and then uh, we're going to be talking about the dangers of health uh, using all these gadgets, you know, games and cell phones. And here's Francis, the Filipino. Hi. He's an original, genuine Filipino. Okay, we just want to say we love you. God bless.
Hi Rolf, I'm here with Constance. You can say hello. Hey Rolf. Sure appreciate taking pictures of you. Glad you're doing well. She said, glad you're doing well. You can't hear very good. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna go eat now. So we're here, Danny Vera just spoke. Yeah, yeah. Hi, sweetheart, I want you to see. Remember this girl at Healthy Options, this young lady? This is her husband right here. He's my friend oh my Ken. Is that a video? Yeah. And yeah, Lucelle was, she was like, <laughs> she couldn't figure it out because you're the only person that ever hugged, you know, gave me an American really greeting. Remember that? that you she was at Healthy Options. <laughs> And there's Brianna, and there's Francis. <laughs> okay. David is here. Steven for about what 30 years ago. Yeah, I'm surprised you don't know each other. I don't know quite two people. Yeah. He was my secretary up there. I was his assistant and stuffing old. This is how we can better our lives and our hearts. We love you, dear Lord. Thank you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. It's about Jesus Christ who died for us. Neil Postman, very interesting. Author of Amusing Ourselves to Death. Here's what he wrote. It has within its physical form a predisposition toward being used in certain... I talked to the factory. They just thinned it out because now they got the zero to 40 weight oil. And so it's the same stuff. No ingredients are changed. They just make it thinner. But they said they found that it even works better. It's more effective. It's the same spot. Yeah, so they've done that just to go with the market. I know. I noticed when I put it in the engine, it just ran right out. Didn't it like... Yeah, it's like water, but they it's thin, but that's just to go with the times. They said it works just as good or better. So, no problem. Same stuff. No extra ingredients. Look who's here. I'm going to get this sandwich. This is good. Really good. Look at their wrestling. Tickle him, tickle him, tickle him. opens at 11 and <laughs> so we don't have to be there till like noon. Okay, 11. I'd like to be there when it opens. And which one are you going to? Yeah, uh, Sunsplash and Roseville. Roseville? Yeah, by the river, Sunsplash. I never heard of it. How can we find it? So this is what we eat here in America. We got watermelon down here, olives, pickles, vigines, that's vegetarian mayonnaise, lettuce, and these are apricots, almonds, and we're the only ones who would not down and pay homage to the golden image, to the gods of the heathen, never were they to compromise with idolaters or faith and their name as worshippers of the living God, that they were to bear as a high honor, and this they did. In prosperity and adversity, they honored God, and I love this, and God honored them. Oh yes, Daniel's loyalty is throughout the book of Daniel. Not only would his friends refuse to bow to the golden image, but we also see that when the decree goes forth that you cannot pray to any other 
God or anyone but the king, Daniel says, no, I refuse. And he prayed with his window open three times a day. He would not bow to Well, Thailand also has children, just like the Philippines. Lots and lots of children here. Oh, sweetheart, look at these new shoes I got. They're really cheap here, and look at this necktie. They're very cheap here. So I'm, I'm leaving the church, and I'm going back to uh, my room. And actually, no, I'm going to sing. Uh, they're assembling in the lobby of the hospital here. And they invited me to sing. They have a really nice grand piano. It's in perfect condition, tuned, and everything. And the music director is Filipino. Most of the people are Filipino, actually. It's a lot of Filipinos here. And in fact, uh, a friend of yours there from Ballester Church is here today. And he, I gave him a card. He's going to go say hi to you later. He's, he's flying out later today. Going back to Singapore, he's Filipino. You know him, he's here. And I sat next to him and ate. So I'm going over here to my room, put my Bible away, and I'm going to sing, then I'm going to go play the piano, then I'm going to do 
Hey, why? God bless you. Bye. Well, again, in Bangkok, Thailand, vegetarian food at the Adventist church. I think only in the Philippines do they do the Adventists eat meat. I'm not sure. Vegetarian? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. The mother was the one who... And brown rice. Look at this. They have brown rice here. Only brown rice. There's no white rice even available. But healthy brown rice, full of vitamins and nutrition. Makes your body healthy. Yeah, very nice. So here in Bangkok, Thailand, there is a piano, a Yamaha at the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So I'm going to play you a song. Thank mm -hmm. you. 